All right, so not something I usually do, but I figured it gives me a chance to play with a new toy. I got this multi-tool today. It's a hammer multi-tool. I figured I would do a quick little review on it, just in case you guys were thinking about buying something like this. So first, first things first, it's not that big. It's actually a little bit smaller than I was thinking, which is perfect because it will fit in your pocket pretty nicely. Um, I would keep it in the sheath because this is pretty sharp here, but not too big. The sheath, there's nothing, nothing really crazy going on with it. Just nice and simple. I think I spent like 20 bucks for this on Amazon. So not a lot, but let's, let's uh, just see how big it is compared to your standard multi-tool, like a Husky or a Cobalt or something from, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot. It's not, not really as big as, as it looks in the photos anyway, and not heavy either. It's about the same size, the same weight as your standard multi-tool. So this would be with your typical work knife. Really not, not crazy. Nice, small, lightweight multi-tool so far. So just, just like I said, a quick review, the different functions and, and how it performs with uh, the different tools that you can use here. So first things first, let's see what we got. I'm sure you, as you guys already know, we've got some pliers down here that pull out. Everything's nice and tight, but not too tight, still usable. The pliers have nice a nice spring to them. Easy to fold out, but not, not too loose. So I can see me using that. Close that back up. We've got a knife on this side. And it's a decent size blade too. It's a, I think it's about, I think it's about like three inches or so. Yeah, just at three inches. So nice size blade, actually bigger than the blade that comes on this multi-tool here, your standard multi-tool. This is well used, obviously. So much, much bigger than standard. Look at the difference. So real usable knife. First complaint though, is there's not really a great way to hold this knife. I don't know if you can see here, but as you're holding it, it wants to dig into your arm, your hand. So not, not a great way to hold it. You almost have to hold it like this and just use your thumb, but it doesn't really give you much leverage to chop onto something. I usually hold my knives like this if I'm really working on an item. Pulling it towards you, no problem. You know, everything's out of the way, but it's when you really want to dig into something, the claw from the hammer starts grabbing your hand. So that kind of, not a big deal, because I guess you can work around it, but just something to think about. That kind of brings me to my next little complaint. Great knife, by the way, great blade, nice size, very sharp. My next complaint would be the angle at, of the claw. It's a little too sharp of an angle. I don't like that. If it was a little straighter, for one, you can probably use it more of a scraping tool and really get to the nail. Um, and it wouldn't dig into your, your arm like that. If this angle was a little bit flatter, because I, I think the reason they did that is because they want you to have plenty of leverage on, on the nail, which we'll pull a nail here in a little bit. But what that does is that makes you have to get pretty close to your workspace. So my knuckles are hitting the desk as I'm trying to grab into a nail or something. So it brings you pretty close to the workspace. So if it was a little flatter of an angle, you'd have a little bit more space to work. Less leverage, which is what I think they were going for, but more space to get into there under the nail and pull it out. So we're gonna keep on going along here with the tools. We got a, we got this right here. We've got a can opener, bottle opener, and a couple of, uh, couple of wrenches where you can slide some nuts into or something or bolts. Very nice 
flat tool. I actually like this this flat head a lot because not only is it nice and sharp, but it's got a taper to it <clears throat> where it can be used as a scraper also. So I like that a lot and it's nice and sturdy. There's no movement in these pieces whatsoever, no movement. So nice, sturdy, but I do like how flat that is because like I said, you can really get, get underneath something, scrape it away. So very nice and it's even got a sharper area here for like a box cutter or something, just dig it into the box, open it, pull it open. So I like this. Um, as far as these go, here's my problem with these. The problem comes here where I, I was looking at this and this is this looks like these two pieces you have here, it's an eight millimeter and a 12 millimeter. And while this, this idea was great, I love the idea of having just a, a wrench on the go like this. 12 millimeter, okay, fine. You know, you got you got the 12 millimeter, fine. But then to, you only have two spaces to have these, these socket wrenches, whatever you wanna call them. Why would you waste the space on an eight and a 12? Why not do a 12 on one side and instead of an eight on the other side, do a 10? There's an eight right there, so it's definitely size eight. Do a 12 and a 10, or an eight and a 10, because a 10 millimeter, that's your most common, your most common size. Why not do a 10 millimeter? And if you're going to do an eight and a 12, at least give me a 10 down here, because this is also an eight. So not really sure why they did that, but I would have at least, since we got an 8 down here, we obviously did not need an 8 up here. Give us a 10. That would be a lot more useful, I think, seeing that you're 9 times out of 10, you're going to be needing that 10 millimeter. So, that being said, there is plenty of leverage on it. Well, we'll, we'll use that in a second. Let's get to the last piece here. So, we've got a bit case in here, a couple bits here. Now, I kept on trying to push this way to get the bit out. Um, I was doing it wrong. You just slide it back this way. So very easy. They're not too tight. I was kind of upset thinking that it was way too tight to get the bits out. It's not. I was just going the wrong way. So just barely touch it and they start pulling out like that. So almost to a fault. They're almost a little too loose, but I don't think they're going to go anywhere. If we were to really start... See, I'm hitting it now. It's They're not sliding out. Oh, there goes one. So almost a little too loose, but it does have a magnet in there that if you closed it and while using the hammer, it's not going to come out. It's better that they pull out like that because as you're banging with the hammer, you're forcing the bits down and that's where they've got like a taper inside the socket for the bits where they're not going to want to come down. So well designed and it's got some nice pressure to it also. So this is not, this is not going to come loose. So, complaint with the bits that I was hoping, oh, and by the way, you pull this out, you stick it in the top here. So very useful, not very long, but they did extend it a little bit so you can get into some places. Um, here's my problem with the bits though. It's got some play to it. Okay, fine, we can work around that. It's not like you're going to be cranking too much. I'm sure that if you were to really crank on this, you'd probably strip this anyway. But we've got some play, problem number one. Problem number two is this is not a standard bit size. I've got a standard bit size here. Let's see if I can find one real quick. This is your standard bit size. So much smaller which kind of sucks because that means you cannot use an extension that you have already, you already have three or four extensions laying around. You can't use those because it's not a standard size. Nice magnet in there to keep things from falling out. And it looks like they probably didn't have much space to put a standard size, maybe, because it would have weakened the sides of the hammer here. But that's, that's a small complaint. I guess we can work around that, especially for 20 bucks. 
but I just I assumed that it would be a standard size bit holder because you always have bits laying around but it's not so small complaint there so let's get into uh using the tool real quick let's see a couple things we're gonna we've got some soft wood here it's got a couple of things already thrown in there this is not real scientific but just to give you an idea this is in fact i double checked everything this is a 12 so that's exactly what size this top is you got plenty there's not much slack at all it's nice and tight so very easy to use plenty of swing on it no slop i mean i'm happy with that that's 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 pretty good little to no slot and we've got an eight millimeter over here I'll throw that on real quick also no slop whatsoever in the eight millimeter as well so that's nice we've got a two and three eighths ring shank nail it comes off of a, a coil that i cut off so let's just drive it in real quick just to see if it is usable as a hammer looks like this popped out a little bit depending on how you're holding it you probably want to hold it like this so it's going i'm not going to go all the way because i don't want to go into the toolbox here but it's working it's working these nails are notoriously um easy to bend usually so let me let me drive this nail all the way in without hitting the toolbox So no problem, it drives all the way in. So like I said, this is some soft wood though. I'm not sure what type of wood it is, but it's it's soft. But if you're going into plywood or even like a even like a two by four, it's gonna do it. So here's what we were talking about with that angle. As you can see, I can keep digging at this forever, and it's probably not going. I've actually tried it. It's not gonna give me enough space. To pull this nail out so and i'm kind of tapping and bouncing on the workspace too on my my item so that angle sucks i wish that this this claw here was a little bit less of an angle so that you can really slide into places so if we what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit this nail oh by the way let's look at the damage we got here little to no damage so it does work well as a hammer. As a quick hammer in your pocket, it works well. So we'll... It's a ring shank, so it's not going to want to. Let me put it on the concrete real quick, just to back it up. All right, so I backed it up a little bit, just so we can get that claw back there. So it's not, like I said, it's, it's soft wood. It's in there though. So once you once you got the nail up a little bit, you have plenty of leverage, and that's kind of what they were going for, I feel like. It's working. So it's coming up, and that's a good size, good size nail with with like I said, those ring shanks. So that nail does not like to come up. Usually it breaks. So let's see if I'll move the camera over real quick so it works it works as a hammer that's why they gave you that angle just so you have more more leverage to pull the nail out but like I said I would have liked this still to be a little bit flatter you can use it to scrape things off but there it is that's basically all the functions of the of the multi-tool for 20 bucks go buy it it's i'm going to keep one of these in every car every vehicle that we have just so you have something if you're at the office you want to hang some photos or something you don't want to have a whole toolbox with you i'll even keep it in the junk drawer in the kitchen just because 
rather than send the wife if I'm at work or something I have to send her into the into the shed to go look for a hammer or a tool or something she'll get lost forever most likely so keep this in the junk drawer I can't tell you how many times I've gotten come home and she's used a high heel or something to hang a photo so definitely worth the 20 bucks I'll leave a link in the description for the uh, for where you can find it on Amazon but overall a couple little complaints here and there but not really enough to say don't buy it especially at that price I hope this video was useful it's a little bit longer of a video than I was hoping for but if you stuck to the end, I appreciate it. Have a nice day.